Hydraulic fracturing is a reservoir stimulation technique implemented to increase the permeability of a hydrocarbon reservoir and its connectivity with the producing wellbore by injecting a pressurized fluid composed mainly of water and sand. It has been implemented in the oil and gas industry since the 1940s, and it has undergone a constant evolution ever since, with a sharp increase during the last decade in areas of rich, low permeability reservoirs. Canada has a vast amount of these type of reservoirs. Most of them are concentrated in the Western Canada sedimentary basin, and the remaining resources are distributed in Northwestern territories and Eastern provinces. Hydraulic fracturing has been practiced extensively in some Western Canadian formations, sustaining Canada's natural gas production and exporting more than 50% of its total production to Midwest and Western United States. This practice, together with all other industrial activities related to oil and gas development, is tightly regulated at both federal and provincial levels. However, public concern regarding the environmental and public health impacts of large-scale hydraulic fracturing practices has also increased across the country to the point of forcing the establishment of moratoria by four provincial governments. This represents major challenges for the oil and gas industry, the government, and academia, and requires a careful, updated, and unbiased review of the economic and environmental impacts of current hydraulic fracturing practices and its long-term implications.